Hey guys, so I have a, I dropped my paper. A topic discussion for today. So this was, um, two people had questions and their questions were very related. So I put them together in one whole video. So one person asked me, um, is it bad to have high standards? And then the next question someone asked was, um, this guy that they're interested in, he's not goal oriented, he has no plans, has no dreams, um, isn't really motivated. What else did she say? Um, he's not trying to be a boss, he's happy with the bare minimum, and she's the complete opposite. And should she still talk to him? So those two questions are really good, perfect for this whole discussion topic. I have um, having high standards and knowing your worth. So is having high standards bad? No, we all should have high standards, especially, I mean, for everything that comes with our life, but especially for, um, you know, like your life partner, you should definitely have high standards. And um, your high standards may be different from my high standards. One person's high standards may be different from another person's high standards. So there's a difference between having high standards in terms of, you know, looking for someone that's a hardworking person, maybe that has achieved a lot in their life, and that's the kind of person that you want to be in your life. You know, maybe based on their energy, their aura. Um, you know, maybe want to build a better life for like your children, a better life that you had, whatever reason, like that. So then, that's whatever your standard is. Now, there's a difference between having that kind of standard, and standard as in standard as in material and you know I don't know what the word to use but like material and a and just for a look so maybe your standard oh, oh I want to make sure that he drives a nice car or oh I want to um, I want a man that makes enough money so that I can have a 10 carat engagement ring because I'm having no engagement ring less than 10, 10 carats or I want to date a man that looks like this, this, and this, so that when we take pictures on Instagram, like people look at us and think like couple goals. That is not having high standards. That's just being. That's just. I don't know. I I, I don't know what you would call. It. Is it high? Like that's your. I guess that's their standard. But their their reasoning for that is not like very positive or really like fulfilling, as in finding a partner for yourself and stuff like that. But. There's nothing wrong with having high standards. Um, I feel like in general, like say for me, anyone that's like like me, um, that's been to school, has a degree in something, you know, wants to f further her career or, you know, try to get to a new level, try to achieve a lot of things, have a lot of dreams, aspirations, goals, you know, maybe your standard is I want someone that is like-minded like me. Like I want someone that maybe is like, uh, business minded, maybe ha maybe has their own goals and dreams, is very driven, and you know has all these um, ideas and wants to start up a lot of things, entrepreneur, whatever. And I want him to be very well educated, educated as much as educated educated as me, or even higher. And then someone that um, is very responsible, or maybe stably fin stable financially, but they don't have to be stable financially. You know, like, you, you, you don't have to have someone stably, financially stable, but if that's going to be on your list, then so be it. But that, that mental, that mentality maybe is your high standard. If that's your standard, you know, for people like that, as I said, like, that's a good standard. Like, there's nothing wrong with finding a partner or a man that is like that. I feel like everyone should look for somebody that's like that goal-oriented, driven, have ideas, want to better themselves, you know, has very, very, very good potential, has ideas, you know, has a plan, and then wants to go to that plan and even further. Because it's good to have someone that's motivated in themselves and also will motivate you and will want the best for themselves and also want the best for you and sees that if we're all in this together, trying to get somewhere, like, that's a true power couple. You know, so that could be your standard. There's nothing wrong with, you know, looking for someone like that. As I said, I feel like everyone should be looking for somebody like that. Finding a guy that's already set and, like, you're know, already ready to go, like, he has everything together. Um, usually those guys have already found somebody 
or or have already found somebody back when they were trying to grind and trying to make it up and now you know they got to this level and you know they're on the next step of marrying this person so they probably already found somebody that was with them when they were still grinding and having nothing and then two it's like I've said this in another video, are you the person, are you the type of person that that person is looking for? That Are you the woman that that man, are you the type of woman that that man is looking for? You know? So you gotta ask yourself that question. Like, you can only say so much, oh, I want to go like this, and I go like this, but it's just like, are you the type of woman that that type of guy would want? You know? So, that's another, that's another video that I've already talked about, and so you can check out that um, video. I think it's called How to Find the Perfect Husband. Yeah, How to Find the Perfect Husband. How to find the perfect husband that's that so yeah so um i i want like my message here is like let's not base our desires for the perfect mate or the perfect mate or the right mate for you based on material things um and like money and how much he makes and like if you can afford your engagement ring that's not what you should be focusing on if you're looking for a life partner you should, like you know like do you even ask yourself like Tell yourself, I want someone that is religious or is a Christian or that prays or, you know, is, is God is their center of their of their being. Um, also, are they, you know, ask yourself about their family. Like, do they come from a broken family? Because that's also something important to think about. Like, do they come from a broken family? Because, you know, the, the family that the person comes from you know, can play a role in how that person is, you know, when they started feeling with you. Do they come from a broken family? Do they have, are both parents together? Do they have siblings? Do they have a lot of siblings? Do they have no siblings? Um, you know, are they very family oriented? Are they very close to their family? Um, are they estranged from their family? Like, they don't talk to their siblings for whatever reason with drama. They don't talk to their parents for whatever drama. Um, all those things, you know, are what you should be focusing on when you're thinking about you know somebody that you want to spend the rest of your life with so um your standards there's nothing wrong with having high standards just make sure that your standards are standards that are what you need in a partner in a good man um someone that will be strong and stand by you and take care of you and protect you and be the father of your children and you know ex you experience life with and you have so much fun with them so as i said don't focus on the materialistic thing they'll focus on you know what you guys will look like when you take Instagram pictures and couple goals and relationship goals and all this stuff like that this part of this video is knowing your worth because knowing your worth ties into standards and no first you gotta know you first you gotta know your worth before you even formulate standards for a man because you have to know yourself and what you deserve what you need what the type of the type of person you are what the best compatible person for you is so one um one idea is um there's this person i think i follow them on facebook i'm friends with them on facebook and on instagram and stuff like that um they always say like oh the guys that i go on a date with dates with or the guys that approach me or the guys this like they always have bad experiences with men and like bad encounters and stuff like that and um me personally i'm i'm i feel like i haven't i don't have i've never experienced that type of dilemma of oh there's like no good guys or anytime i'm going on a date it's always this and these are these are the type of guys that we have now like i've never experienced that because one that person I ask myself, like, the type of people that you attract, the type of people that you associate yourself with, or the type of people that are amongst the people, you know, that you would run into, like, that's your problem, not necessarily guys. Because in my lifetime, and Inky and I have, you know, said this before in our lifetime, like, we've run into, like, very good cream of the crop guys. But it's just like, but those are the guys that we attract or those are the guys are in our in our like networking circle or the type of guys that we run into you know what I mean or the type as I said the type of guys that we attract so um, 
think about that in yourself like if you feel like you're running into that problem with guys like what what kind of like who are you like 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 what are you giving out to the world to people for those type of people to be coming to you like that you know so think about that maybe change your friends change your circle change where change where you hang out um maybe you change where you hang out like like where are you hanging out i think to myself like when i see this girl post i'm like where like where are you hanging out like <laughs> like why, why like, like where you should be hanging out that's not where the type of man that you that you that you think you want why would you think that he'd be hanging out over there you know what i mean so change your circle change your environment and change you know you like inside and outside to to, to know like inside inside mentally in your heart and outside um if you're looking for a certain type of guy as i said before is that type of guy looking for you you know have you checked yourself yet you know what i mean so as when i say knowing your worth um in general it's like you have to look at yourself and put yourself on a pedestal and a pedestal you're sitting on a pedestal and you're wearing your crown because you are a queen you know look at yourself as not not just say like oh i'm a queen and all this stuff like that and i it's just like not only saying it but do you walk like that do you talk like that do you dress like that um do you carry yourself like that you know do you put yourself in situations where only queen like queen those type of queens would be in you know so put yourself on a pedestal and think of yourself as like a gem and as a rare gem and that rare gem, whatever guy is worthy of even being in the vicinity of this where of this rare gem, think of yourself like that. And also think like all the men in your vicinity of this rare gem, which is you, who's even worthy to even like breathe upon this gem? You know what I mean? Talk to you. You know, be in your be in your inner circle, have your number. You know what I mean? Who is even worthy? So when you meet somebody, um, as I said, then you have your standards, your list in your head, you know, things are checking off, and, um, you know, say everything is good for some time. And, you know, maybe weeks go by, months go by, maybe even a year goes by, maybe two years goes by, and maybe you find, you find you're, you're at a place debating about this guy that he isn't the one i'm looking for like he isn't the, like he isn't what my standards meet up to for a guy but should i just stay with him or should i move on and sometimes part of the dilemma part of the, the dilemma is the time like you've already invested months or years with this guy and maybe things aren't adding up exactly how you want them to be but you're like well i've already invested this time and stuff and we've been together this long we have this so-and-so history you know like why like what well, like why should you settle you know so that i asked myself if that was me or if i'm if that was my friend like so what is your like so what do you see your worth is you know so your standards you're having a guy like you just throw him out the window you know so um Sometimes it might be hard to be, the truth might be hard in some, like when you see in somebody that they're not right for you. And it might be hard to like walk away or leave because maybe you invested so much time in them. But two things. One, your life that you have, the rest of your life that you have with the person that's right for you is so much more, like the, per, the percentage and the time is so much more than this time like this little time in your life right now maybe this months or one year or two years with this guy right now just think about like this time you think is is like it but it's like compared to leaving this person and finding the right man for you and you guys spend the rest of your 30 40 50 years together when you think about it that time is so small so maybe don't look so much on the small scale of things but look on the bigger scale of life and it's like all these all this time that you have left in your life all these years you have left in your life by the grace of god with your children your career growing living traveling you know living life 
Like, why would you want to spend it with someone that you just settled with or someone that maybe you might see problems with down the line and problems might come up and stuff like that? So it might be hard to see it now, but just think about them in the big scale of things of your life. This is your life. This is the only life you have. You know, make the best of it and make sure that you put all the effort in to make it the best life that you can. So um, if say you're, as I said, if you're with someone and maybe things are just not adding up and you feel like, should I stay? Should I go? You know, I've already wasted this much time. Even if you're at the point where it's like, I'm gonna, like, we're, we're planning on getting engaged or we're already engaged or we're about to get married. You know, as I said, that time, that little, that time is so little compared to maybe finding something with the better, the best person for you and spending the rest of your life with them. Two is, if it was me, when I think about, when I think to myself about, uh, maybe somebody that I've talked to or somebody that I've experienced and I ask myself is this the person for me like is this a good person think to myself like you know what I know who I am I know my worth I know what I bring to the table and I know how special I am and I do not want to waste that time and I don't want to not be recognized for that by by th by this person or by by this person. My worth is what makes my my mental makes me stable in those types of situations because it's like no 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 this guy doesn't know what I bring to the table. This guy doesn't know how lucky he is to have me in his life. But no 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 nope, gotta go. That's what that's what keeps my my me sane in you know maybe hard situations, tough situations, very most emotional situations. So, as I said, you have to know your worth so that you know when to leave, how to steer yourself in the right direction for a man, um, and know, like, and to know if this guy in front of you is, is he right for you. If anyone is with somebody right now, or, you know, maybe you feel like anytime you meet a guy, they're just not it, like, nothing, like, you feel like, um, you're not meeting the right guys, like, maybe you need to reevaluate like reevaluate your worth yourself like what are your standards maybe write them down um say it out loud pray about it and then reevaluate yourself get yourself together reinvent yourself and then be a new better you and have a better understanding of yourself and then go back out there and then see what and see how the world is then as i said in your environment your mentality your worth your standards um, your community, who you socialize with, your friends, um, all that stuff can help put you in the right direction on that person you're looking for and your standards in men and knowing your worth and all that jazz and all that jazz. So anyway, as soon as I said, again, rambling on. But anyways, I hope you guys like this video and I'll see you in my next one.